Hello, kindergartners. Let's read a story today. This one's called The Biggest Shadow in the Zoo by Jack Kent. Here he is. Goober was an elephant who lived at the zoo. Goober was very special. At least he thought so. There he is on his moat. All the other animals lived in cages or behind bars. Goober lived on an island with a moat all around it. But that wasn't why Goober thought he was special. There was a bridge over the moat with a sign on it. The sign read, Elephant Rides, 10 cents, twice a day, in the morning and the afternoon. A box was strapped on Goober's back. Children sat in the box and Goober gave them a ride. The children loved Goober and they fed him peanuts. But that wasn't why Goober thought he was special. Look at that nice picture there. Okay, let's see. There's all the other animals. From his island, Goober could see most of the other animals. They were all sizes, big, small, big and small and in between. And they were all shapes, fat and thin and some very strange. Goober noticed that each animal had a shadow and the shadow was big or small or fat or thin, just like the animal. Goober noticed something else. His shadow was the biggest shadow in the zoo and that was the reason Goober thought he was special. Goober was very fond of his shadow and his shadow seemed fond of Goober. They were always together. They were very good friends. One day Goober was catching peanuts that the children were throwing to him. His shadow was with him as usual. When Goober swung his trunk to catch a peanut, his shadow swung its trunk and pretended to catch one too. Goober forgot to watch where he was going and got so close to the moat that he almost fell in. His shadow did. When Goober leaned over the edge of the moat, he could see his shadow down on the bottom. Goober was quite upset. He was afraid his shadow got hurt in the fall. Is that what you think happened? Goober stood very still and watched his shadow for several minutes. It didn't move. It's dead, thought Goober, but how could such a little fall kill it? My shadow is tough. I've stepped on it lots of times and I didn't hurt it. I don't understand. And he shook his head. The shadow shook its head too. It was all right. Goober felt much better, but his shadow was still at the bottom of the moat and Goober couldn't get it out. Soon it was time for the afternoon elephant rides. Goober's trainers strapped his box onto his back. Come on, Goober, they said. But Goober didn't move. He and his shadow had always been together. Goober couldn't leave it now when it was in trouble. The trainers pushed and pulled. They scolded and coaxed, but Goober refused to budge. So they unstrapped the box and told the children there wouldn't be any elephant rides today because Goober wasn't feeling well. The animal doctor came, but he couldn't find anything wrong with Goober. It's probably just something he ate, said the doctor. I'll check him again in the morning. Night came. Goober couldn't see his shadow anymore. But he stayed to keep it company. Rain started to fall. There was a flash of lightning. By its light, Goober could see that his shadow was still there. He saw something else, too. The water in the moat was getting deeper. 
Goober didn't know if his shadow could swim. Goober worried and worried and wished the night would end. There it is. The rain stopped by morning, but thick clouds hid the sun. Goober looked over the edge of the moat. The water was almost at the top, and Goober's shadow was nowhere to be seen. It drowned, thought Goober. I'll never see it again. He's crying. Goober walked slowly and sadly toward the elephant house. He looked back, hoping to see his shadow, but it wasn't there. He felt like crying. Goober went inside his dark house. He wanted to be left alone, so he tried to hide in the corner. Feeling better this morning, said a voice. It was the doctor. The doctor lit a lantern so he could see Goober, and Goober saw something that made him leap for joy. There in the corner, the very corner that Goober was facing, was his shadow, as big as ever. Being in the water all night hadn't even shrunk it. Yay! Look how happy he is. Yay, elephant house. Yay! Goober didn't know how long his shadow had been in the elephant house or how it got there, but it didn't matter. They were together again, and that was the most important thing. Well, well, the doctor said to Goober, I don't know what the trouble was, but there's nothing wrong with you now. He gave Goober a pat, turned off the lantern, and went to check on the other animals. Without the light from the lantern, Goober couldn't see his shadow anymore, but he knew it was there, safe and sound. Goober was very happy. He ate a good breakfast, had a nice nap. It had been a long night. When it was time for the morning elephant ride, Goober's trainers led him outside and strapped on the box. The clouds had gone away. The sun was shining brightly. Goober looked at his shadow, and he smiled happily. <laughs> There's his shadow. You see his shadow here on the wall, on the building. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Look how happy he is. The children got their dimes worth. Goober gave them an extra long ride because he felt so good. But he was very, very careful not to go anywhere near the moat, and his shadow always stayed close by. Isn't that a great story? It was always there. But what happens when the sun comes out? You see your shadow. When there's no sun, you can't see your shadow. But does your shadow ever disappear? Nope, it always is there, whether you can see it or not. And Goober learned that lesson, didn't he? Right. So our main character was who? Goober, right. He was the most important character in the whole story. And who else was in the story? The doctor the trainers, the children, parents, right, they were all characters in the story. All right, and the setting was the zoo, right? Yes, on the island with the moat, moat is the water around the island, the little bridge, that was all the setting. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.